Hello everybody, this is Richard Cespedes and uh, I'm here to upload a video about um, entertainment and uh, about my thoughts of the why entertainment and, and, and all of its mediums needs to be brought to an, to an, to an end. You know, um, I was just thinking about it just now and uh, as a child I remember as a child um, thinking to myself you know like watching great movies great movies that had such great stories and plots and then when the movie would end you had this fantastic uh, um, climax you know that brought meaning to the film and it had an impact as a fan of films, as a fan of storytelling, you know, not a lot of movies back then had a great, had that impact, but a lot of movies had great scores and had great music. Terminator, the intro score is undeniably legendary. Jurassic Park score. Uh, you know, the thing is, though, is that entertainment, you know, movies and music, it, it cannot go on forever. You know, it cannot be forever. It cannot be dragged down forever. You know, um, one example that I want to talk about is that uh, just to kind of have more meaning and, and have a little piece of where I'm coming from is that I remember when I was a kid and uh, I loved Sonic the Hedgehog. And I remember playing um, what I consider the final chapter of Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 3. And I, and I remember playing that game and when I beat the game it had the end credits and when the end credits rolled it had this awesome score that they put together and it felt good as a fan of not just video games of not just Sonic but it just felt good to know that that a, a, a character's legacy an adventure that you were a part of you know came to a climactic end it felt good the music the score of it it felt like it felt right you know it felt like you were so happy to be a part of this great experience as a gamer to have this great character Sonic go through this adventure and to fight Dr. Robotnik and to beat him the final conclusion and that it ended that was the big thing the word end, it ended, it was finished. And it just felt good. And the thing is though is that now looking back on it, I thought to my I'm thinking to myself, the reason why I felt good was because as a human being, more speaking more deeply, if it had closure. There was a sense of closure. And like maybe I'm exaggerating and thinking too much about movies and entertainment too much, but as an as a human being Closure is very, very important in a person's life, and when 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 you when when something comes to an end, and and you had such and it had such a great impact, whatever it was comes to an end, it makes you feel good, like something ended. It it reached its climax. It, it's finished. You know, there's no more muddling around. Uh, it, it had a sense of closure. You felt like something was started and it was completed. A sense of completion, closure, and and the thing is though is that um, music and movies and everything else needs to have a climactic ending. A lot of people in the '90s they were looking for meaning in their life, just like how we are now. But they look for meanings and and everything, music and movies and everything, and closure and endings. People don't understand the power of endings and the power of completion. The power of completion. Knowing that one chapter ended and you move on. And you could always look back and with admiration and with pride that whatever you enjoyed had ended. You know, and that it was a masterpiece. It was so well done and that music and movies need to have a climactic ending. What that does for the people that love filmmaking, they may not understand it, but by creating a movie 
the film to end all films, you know, which I talk about, which all the heroes and characters of the movie era and video game characters or whatever just jammed them all in there, created a dramatic, dramatic story involving space and just end filmmaking. It creates a sense of completion and epicness of the history of filmmaking because people don't understand is that you're dragging on something it, it, it it's it's like for example imagine if there was a story that never ends unlike the never-ending story imagine there was a story that just never ended it just kept going and going and kept on putting out series and series and series and it, you know it started in the 1920s for example and it kept on going and 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 in between that time period it got kind of dry and kind of lazy and got kind of flat the stories it just kept going and going and the characters went everywhere and they went down and and, and, and there was no real climax there was no real um, um, you know dramatic uh, conclusion it just kept going and that's what and, 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 and as a fan whatever you are music or movies or, or whatever storytelling as just a general or um, just a casual person of entertainment you know, a person that listens to entertainment, YouTube, or whatever, it gets boring, it drags on, you know? And that's what music and movies are. Music and movies is like, they're like an animal. They have a lifespan. It had a lifespan. Michael Jackson was involved with music, and he was involved in music for, you know, practically all his damn life, you know, practically like 48, 47, 45 years of his life, you know, almost half a century. And like music and movies, it's like the never-ending story, like I told you. Like, imagine a story series, a book series that just kept on going from the 1920s till now. You know, where is the ending? People are just going to walk away from it. Their attention span is going to walk away. That's just natural. And movies and music, it just needs to have a climactic ending. Because there needs to be a conclusion. When, when people announce that they're going to make something that's going to end filmmaking or mu music, people are going to all of a sudden wake up. Why? Why are they going to wake up? Because... Finally, there's going to be something that's, wow, they're going to think to themselves for a minute, an end to filmmaking? A music that's going to, a, a, a video, a movie that's going to end filmmaking that has all these great characters, you know, that's going to be dramatic and, and, and drastic and, and huge and epic. People are going to take notice and they're, they're going to think to themselves, wow, you know, you know, this is something very important because this is the end. This is the conclusion. You know, this is the end. It actually wakes up their heart. It wakes up their mind. You know, and, and it's like this, people who are in charge of the film and uh, people that are CEOs of movie, of the, of the record labels of music or in filmmaking, filmmaking basically had a big jump start like in 1920s and now we're in the year 2015. You know, if, if, let's say for example, um, if for example, they had a CEO that was a child at age five. You know, he was a CEO at the age five. And it was a booming era for, for uh, this animal that was born too at that time, which is movies, filmmaking. It was an animal. It's an animal. So music, because the ideas flourish within a time span of a human, of one uh, of a human being. People don't understand that there's always going to be human beings, but genres and mediums have life spans, because one individual can collect all ideas from each era before he was born and and com and combine eras and combine eras of ideas that people just kind of muddle together and write down in one lifespan and it that CEO in the film industry can have connections to to script writers and and books and and screenwriters and they can and within that lifespan of that child being five all the way being to 90 or 80 years old they have collected this huge amount all the years of all types of different variations to tell a story science fiction dr drama um, um, comedy you know um, horror if, if 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 film if film industry was an animal which it is if the film industry was born at the same time that the five-year-old was put into and to um, in charge of being CEO of it you know of course the child wouldn't be able to understand it but the age of six and seven children are very intelligent so they're able to catch on they're very mature they would kind of like you know 
psychologically he'll get used to it and he'll be able an adult quick he'll get to become adult quick you know within that within one person's lifespan they that collection of all that knowledge of storytelling has run its course has run its course just like a human being entertainment in the medium of filmmaking or music it's an animal it's a, it's a living thing we make it a living thing it has run its course if we keep on dragging it on things have become muddled and become flat in movies why because we don't let it go we don't let it have an end a dramatic conclusion fantastic conclusion that says you know what this is it this is the end this is the thing that's gonna it's gonna wake up everybody say so, wow what the hell at the end of the movies the end of music you know it's the same thing if the CEO was elected to be uh, in charge of music industry the music industry has so it's the same thing as movies within the lifespan of one human being music and movies exist within that lifespan of a hundred years everyone has thought up everything that they can in order to create something that's beautiful and people to hear it's just time to have a climatic ending to give something fresh and new what can you do that's fresh and new to bring an end to something no one ever thought that it's possible to bring it to an end but you can it's time to do that because human beings we want meaning we love movies we, it's become us we love music it's become us but we want something that's dramatic and radical we want we want something that's a radical conclusion to something we love because it makes us feel complete it makes us feel like yes it makes us feel like yes it's, there's an ending we can move on it's a chapter the end of a, an end of a story it makes us feel um complete it makes us feel um uh, uh, to have a conclusion it makes us feel good and that's what we need to do we will do it and that's what movies need to do. That's Rich Sispit is, and that's my idea, and that's the only way that anything will ever feel good again.